Okay, come on then, let's have it. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I think it does, and I'm not leaving this flat until you tell me. I am stupid. I'm stupid. I thought we could get through one afternoon without somebody mentioning his name and just spoiling everything. Ron. Ronnie, listen, he was our dad. Yeah, you can't expect no one to ever mention him I, again. I know. All right, I know, but I really don't know how else to deal with it. Deal with what? Deal with, deal with it. Do you know what? No, this is getting really pathetic. Roxy, 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 listen to me. Listen to me, please. Please, will you just stay with me for two minutes, please? Please. You saw it. I couldn't help myself as soon as I heard it. I knew it was that home video. <laughs> Did you see my knobbly knees? <laughs> Did you see mine? <laughs> At least you were cute. <laughs> you know, I've hated Dad for so long. I've forgotten how much I loved him. I really did love him back then, Roxy. You know, I really did. And he loved you. He did, and that is why all of this, it doesn't make any sense. Something oh. happened when we were in France. Do you remember that holiday? I was 13, you were 10. Something terrible and I just... I, I can't stop thinking about it. Let me take over. You've done enough done until one day. Keep your nose out, Peggy. She's my daughter. Yeah, only when it's convenient. He wants to get home this Right, you week. know what? I've had enough. Peggy, if it means that much to you, right, you can push me on. But I just don't want to hear another word from either of you. When we got back off holiday, it didn't stop, Ronnie. And I remember... I remember you were invited to a sleepover party, so was I. Right, what a stupid kid's party. Because I really wanted to go. I couldn't wait to go. I remember Dad phoned them up and he said that I had a cold. That I couldn't go because he wanted me to stay with him. I was absolutely terrified, Roxy. And I remember he bought me some sweets. And we sat on the sofa and we watched rubbish on the telly. And then he took me upstairs. And he kissed me goodnight. And then he got into my bed. No, no. If I had gone to the party, none of this would have I happened. I do not want to hear if this! If I had gone to the party, he wouldn't have no, kissed me! No! Not my dad! He raped me, Roxy, and I couldn't stop him! It's okay. Explains everything now, doesn't it, hey? Mad screwed up, Ronnie. Oh, darling. Now I'm a dirty little scrubber. Don't say that. It's nothing everybody should go now. Is it true? Look at me and tell me if it's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs>